Hey, what's up guys? It is Labor Day and I have been busy, busy today getting my stuff ready. Just got back from camping last night, went up to the Greenbrier River here in West Virginia with the family for the last couple of days to do some camping, kayaking, fishing, kind of the last two raw before hunting season gets in full swing here and I am not available for any of that type of stuff. So, got back last night, started getting my things together today. Uh, had to get some antennas and stuff on my collars fixed. Had to spray my clothing in permethrin because last week I wore clothing and I absolutely got ate up with seed ticks. I don't know how many bites I got, but they're just now healing up. So, spraying everything with permethrin. Use it, it works uh, to keep the ticks and shit off of you. But other than that, I'm just getting all my batteries charged, my handhelds, collars going, making sure my radios are good. Got my chainsaw, cooler, and going to load up this evening. Once Harry gets here, who is our new intern, and Dylan Hazen's coming down to hang out for the week. So once they get here to the house, I'm going to head down towards uh, southern West Virginia, towards Logan. Going to, I, I got to make some switches because I'll be hunting off side by side. So I got my dog box and everything loaded up. But my side by side and everything is in Logan. So it's kind of a cluster, but I wouldn't have it any other way. That seems to be how it rolls for me here lately. So, but I am excited that I get in the woods. Uh, been real busy with work here lately and plan on hunting all this week and, and trying to catch a few bear. First day out bear hunting. Got Dylan and Harry with me. It's hot and humid already, so we're going to uh, get the dogs loaded up. Go see if we can't find us a bear this morning to get on real quick before it gets too damn hot on us. Transporting my dogs is a real fiasco this year because I, I got a new Jeep a couple months ago and I never did build a dog box for it. So I'm transporting my dogs back and forth in just uh, travel containers and then putting them in my side-by-side -side dog box. One, because I don't have a dog box for my Jeep and two, I don't want to haul my side-by-side -side back and forth with them in it because Absolutely, just as a gas guzzler. All right, Harry, come learn. The thing on the hound is aluminum is light. Yeah. All right, so go your way, and then swing back towards Bill. He goes in like this. It just sits right on the rail. There she does. Go on. Yep. How about your first bear hunt? Excited. Just saw my first bear at the zoo, so <laughs> New Harry's Jersey kid. Yourself, <laughs> yeah, who you are, baby. I'm uh, Harry from South Jersey and uh, I'm the new intern, one of the new interns for the untamed and uh, super excited to get started, so Early start, just got in last night, and we're gonna get after him. What is it, girl? Come on, find it. So we've been driving around all morning. I don't even know what time it is. What time is it there, Harry? 8.47. 8.47, and not had any strikes. And just coming up this holler, and storm kind of winding. I think she's just winding, because she's trying to get up the hill here. What is it? Come on, let's go find it. Let's go find it. You gonna get up there? Go on, get up there. Go on. It's getting late in the morning. As soon as this fog and dew burns off, it's gonna be too humid for the dogs to run. So hopefully we get something going here pretty quick.
We just got up on the mountain. Pretty foggy, but we're gonna get out here, let the dogs unload, get a little weight off of them this morning after the ride in, and we're probably just gonna go for a little nature hike and see if we can't get one jumped up. Just free cast them and walk and see what we come up with. Harry, you got any input? No. Nah. You don't have any like houndsman suggestions or or what we should do here I mean strategically uh, with the with the <laughs> dogs and stuff. I like that the uh <laughs> I like that the it didn't rain last night, so I was uh pretty excited about that because hopefully we get a scent to stay down, but I don't know. I'm ready to pee, so I think the dogs might be too. Oh, I, I guarantee they are. <laughs> I'll be so jealous of their houndsmen, of these fancy dog boxes that I use. They'll be wanting these. I mean, this is a monster autumn olive that they've that they've busted. The bears have and split it out. And I mean, it's all the way down this down this road that we've been coming down. I mean, it's exactly you know what I was telling you earlier that the bear sign that we've seen in here. It's the most bear sign I've seen anywhere else. so they can continue to hear the dogs. Let's see if them pups will go. Bane's on their track. He ain't going with them, but. They sound good. We just have to kind of sit here and See, see what they're going to do since we're on foot and there's only me pretty much. <laughs> so we're kind of just uh, in a holding pattern here to see if they cross over here and cross this point that we're on and come back into this holler or if they're going to stay on the roadside or if they catch it right there. If they catch it right there, then we just go in from here. So. I was just looking on the map and, and just trying to, where I'm the only bear hunter here, I'm trying to figure out the best route to get in here or go back to the Jeep, walk back to the Jeep and go off the mountain and go around. Uh, but Storm just now pulled up tree and Huck just pulled up tree. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna go in this direction. And if I have to, I'll call somebody to come and get us on Route 10 and bring me back to my truck. Um, but I think this is the best best direction for us to go stay on top of them and see and then we'll go from there Man, don't dig no spider stick by God. He needs a yellow jacket stauber We ran walked right over two nests took off running. They should be right over the hill here The sun might have some got me in the back Well, we got all the way out here where Huck was treed. He just wore out dogs are out of shape, but he was out here a long time and it took us a long time to get out here, so uh, didn't get out here fast enough. I'd say the bear come out of the tree and he treated again a couple hundred yards from what it looked like on the Garmin. And then we finally got out here and he wasn't barking when I got about 90 yards when I got over the hill from him. So I figured he would just tuckered out and got down here and he was kind of just moving really slow and just whooped. So gathering them up, I'm gonna go down to the road, find us a ride back to the Jeep, cause we're not going back up that way. And uh, we'll come back out and try it again tomorrow as long as the dogs feel like it. So that's the game plan. I mean, it's a good day. I mean, do I want to catch a bear? Yeah, but 
the dogs did good. They made a good chase. And that's all I can expect right now where the dogs haven't been out and they're not in running shape. So, good day. Long day of walking and no catching still requires a good meal. <laughs> so, that's what we're going to do. We're going to replenish everything and we're going to get back after it in the morning. <laughs> So we're getting a little bit of a late start. We got out early this morning and was going to an area and miscommunication with me and the property owner. No big deal, it happened sometimes. He didn't want me to go in on that side of the property. So we had to come all the way back out of the holler and we're circling back around. We got the property that he allowed me to hunt. We can hunt the left side. Well, on this right side, this is all public. So we're gonna go ahead and let the dogs unload gonna put some dogs up on the rig rack and we're gonna rig, we're gonna rig this main road here and uh, because we can hunt both sides from here on out. So that's, that's our game plan now and just making some adjustments and we'll get going here. Mark and I, we've got six to seven dogs with us. We're gonna walk this public land. I've always wanted to do it, just never have just because of timing and stuff, but a lot of stuff screwed up logistically for us this morning. Hunting some areas. And we were already up in here, so we're gonna walk this public and walk it out the other side and see what we get jumped up. Hopefully we'll get on one. That dog is a smart dog. It's cutting the track and cutting them dogs. Yeah, we better go up with them. It's, there's only a few places we can drop down. Storm getting ready. She getting ready to cut that track <laughs> and be caught right back up with them. Little short track. Yeah. That's right there at that parking lot that I told her to go to. That's the road going out from it. It's gonna drop over. They get across that top, Mark. We need to go to the vehicles. I agree. We ain't gonna keep up with them here anyway. No. We might as well start walking it. Well, I think so too. Because they're going, they're getting ready to cross that top flat, and we're going to have to go along. Them. We got down there, like we said, cut the dogs loose. Figured they would go down the creek, but they crossed the creek, pulled the other side of the mountain, and going into a different area. So we're going to scat Daddy out of here and go get a track on them, and hopefully go to a tree here soon. So we kind of just let the dogs do their thing here, because. They're in big country right now and it's foot traffic on no, straight back here. What's this road? Holy weird. That's dude, we just come out there. That's where we just drove around and just I got you. grabbed ass and didn't do no good. Uh, and the dogs have actually went deep in this country and they that bear turned when they got over on a big steep face. And he'd come back and he'd come back across his track trying to lose them and fool them, but now they're coming back right into the country where we where we cut loose at first. So, we're gonna get back over here and track them a little further and see if we're gonna take off on foot yet. We got down there, like we said, cut the dogs loose. Figured they would go down the creek, but they crossed the creek, pulled the other side of the mountain and going into a different area. So, we're gonna scat daddy out of here and go get a track on them and hopefully go to a tree here soon. They're coming up on the other side of this point, coming through the reclamation. They're almost, they're out of the timber. Top. They're out of the timber. You think you're gonna cross the hard top? You think you're gonna cross the hard top? Not yet. They're turning there, they, they turn. They turned them there. The bear has pulled a big circle and come right back into this country where we cut loose on him at. And he's going down, right down the creek. So we're gonna try to run some dogs in here to put some pressure on him because he's stringing the dogs out with, on the biggest loop as he's took. So that's the game plan. I would stay here, Dylan, because okay. if he keeps on going, you are going to take the trucks around. Okay. We're going to be way behind. We okay. are. Okay. I'll hold back in a second. They're right here. Let's get out of here. Dead under, Mark. See if, see if they go down there to him. Mike. Mark. Mark, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come 
to watch, time to watch the pavement. Hearn. Yeah. Right there where you're at with Huck. They're right up under you there, coming to that point. I may have got them back away from the road right there. I'm not sure. I hope so. He was going to crash right there where I was out there just a minute ago, but I think I got him turned. I can hear him hammering across the holler here. They caught it right there. Lord have mercy. This dog right here has... I can hear both down there. He's so, like a freight train. He ended up getting dogs into it, and that's some of guns. Get down there, Steve Jones. Come back out the gate and start down that way. That would be the easiest thing, Hearn. Park at the gate, come down there to the bottom, and swing right handed out this gravel road. And then we're going to go ahead and start working our way through his holler and, and get over there with him. You better kind of watch Doc and Susie and the trailer. They're behind. And make sure they don't come across and get up there in that hard road. Yeah. You can probably shortcut them on this gravel road, maybe. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And we all pray, hoping for the light of day Down to the river, I have held the devil's hand Felt the weight of my own sin Burdened by the heart of man Down to the river, down to the river Public land, caught that bear. Had never walked in here and hunted like that before. Uh, struck it. It took us for a major ride and some big loops, but ended up getting some dogs into it when it came back into the country where we had first cut loose. Caught it, got in there. It was a small bear like we had kind of expected because of the way it ran and Ended up getting our dogs, getting some of the pups in there to look at it, pulled with it a little bit. And treed and freed, back of the truck. It's getting hotter than hell. So you can see the dogs are all panting. We're gonna get them back down to the office, get them out of the trucks, get them fed and watered, and get back after it in the morning. It's a hell of a good day. <laughs>